So in this video, I'm talking about injuries. Which is a major problem with so many people. Here's the thing. Most people, when they go to a gym or when they're working out, they'll feel something that hurts. They'll feel small pain, maybe a nagging pain. And they're doing a particular exercise. While they're doing exercise, they feel this pain. And what do most people do? They keep on going. They don't stop. They keep on going because there's this idea that you have to do this particular exercise and you have to endure it. You don't. One of the most important things about understanding a natural approach to bodybuilding or doing any type of body transformation long-term without using drugs is that it's going to take a long time. And the only way you're going to be able to do it for a long time is if you don't get injured. And the injuries that we tend to see in weight training do not come from bad form, don't come from weird exercises, none of those things. They come from overuse. They come from doing the same thing over and over. And very often our bodies will tell us, this hurts. This doesn't feel quite right. But there's this idea that you need this exercise. You need to do a bench press to get a big chest. You need to do squats to get big legs. You need to do deadlifts if you want to get great glutes. All these ideas that you need to do, and that's not how our muscles work. Muscles respond to stimulation that causes some form of overload or some stimulation is not accustomed to. So just because your favorite fitness influencer uses a particular exercise or people around you say you need to do this one exercise, if it hurts, then it's not for you. Or better yet, maybe you need to take some time off the exercise, do some other things and come back to it where it doesn't hurt. But it's important to understand pain when you're doing an exercise is a sign that you probably shouldn't be doing an exercise. And keep in mind, I'm old school. Where I come from, there are hundreds of different exercises that you can do for any particular muscle group. So if one exercise hurts, Chances are you're going to find something out there that's not going to hurt. And that's what you need to be doing. Not the one everybody else says you have to do. So if it hurts, vary it. If you're doing a bench press and it hurts, don't do a bench press. Do something else. Do dumbbells. Change your grip. Change the way you hold the dumbbells. Use machines. Get away from the stigmatic idea that somehow machines are inferior. If you're doing a machine movement and it doesn't hurt, then that's what you should be doing. Forget what everybody else is saying. Remember, this is your path. And on your path, when you're injured and you have to deal with the consequence of that injury that takes you up from your training, 
those people who are saying that you need to do X exercise and that Y exercise, they won't be there to help you out. You're on your own. So make sure you make the right decisions in terms of your exercise choices. If it hurts, don't do it. Find something else. We have to come away from this idea that these exercises that we have to do because we don't have to do anything when it comes to our training besides maintain our longevity and ensure what we're doing is sustainable. And if you're doing something that today is going to cause you pain, trust me, it's going to incapacitate you tomorrow. And keep on going no matter what. And Excelsior.